Today we're going to be taking a trip to the island nation of Fiji, back to the year 1881, when Fiji ordered 50,000 two pen stamps printed. Now, at this time, two pen stamps were printed in green ink, one pen stamps were printed in ultramarine ink. But by mistake, for whatever reason, that batch of 50,000 two pen stamps were printed in the ultramarine ink intended for the one pen stamp. Now, these stamps arrived, they were immediately recognized to be incorrect, and they just kind of sat around for about eight years. By the late 1880s, there was some discussion of selling these stamps to stamp dealers, but ultimately, it was decided that they should almost all be destroyed. Now, almost is the key word there, because a few select examples did survive. One of them is in the Royal Stamp Collection. Uh, this now belongs to the Royal Family. I don't see King Charles selling it anytime soon. Another example is in the British Library, so likewise, that will never be available to collectors. But a third example has graced some of the uh, most important stamp collections of the 20th century, from Count Ferrari to Arthur Hind. But tragedy struck in 1883 when that stamp, which was located in a collection in Victoria, Australia, uh, suffered from a, a terrible brush fire. Luckily, the owner and his wife wrapped themselves in blankets and hid in the swimming pool uh, until the flames died down. But the stamp was consumed. And for a couple of years, people thought that there were no more examples of the two pence ultramarine error available to collectors. That is until 1886, when a fourth example emerged. That's the stamp I'm holding in my hands right now. It currently is in the Barry K. Schwartz collection of Fiji and Samoa. But next week on November 14th, it's going to find a new home now. Like I said, this is the only example available to collectors. In terms of availability, it's on the same level as this very famous stamp right behind me. Uh, this is a stamp that's very difficult to put a price on because there's a lot of British Commonwealth collectors and only one of these stamps. And we cannot wait to see uh, what collection it ends up in, what new home it's going to next week.